Hey, welcome back. This is Carlos with the Institute of Musical Arts. Today we're going to start learning a piece um, that uh, was composed by Armando Manzanero, one of the greatest composers, um, very popular in Mexico and in Latin America. He wrote this piece uh, called Contigo Aprendí, which is very, very romantic. Uh, it's a very nice piece that uh, is suitable for someone who is uh, at a beginner, intermediate level. So uh, let me go ahead and play this small section that we're going to learn today so that you can get familiar with what we're going to go over, okay? Here we go. By the way, I recommend if you don't know the piece, listen to it on YouTube, just write the name that you're going to see uh, uh, on the bar that I'm going to put on front of this video. And uh, look it up on YouTube and you will be able to find it. Get familiar with the melody so that it makes sense when I explain it to you guys. So anyway, here it is. So that's what we're going to see today. Let me go ahead and break it down for you guys. We're going to start by playing, uh, we're going to put a C chord right here. Finger 1, string 2, fret 1. Finger 2, string 4, fret 2. Finger 3, string 5, fret 3. And we're going to play uh, with our index, the third string. And then we're going to play uh, 5 and 1 but we're going to play, uh, we're going to use our finger number one on string one, fret one. So we're going to bring it from here down this way. And we're going to play five one with the ring finger. Then we remove this finger and play with the middle. First string open. And then we use our finger number four and we're going to place it on a string two, fret three, right there. And we will play that with the index. And after that, we'll do a strum of the C chord. We return this finger right here to the C position. Let me repeat this. Start with the third string. Then 5-1, moving this finger down to the first string, first fret, with the ring finger. Middle finger is open. Then Index goes to the second string with the finger number four right here. And then remove it and play the C chord with this finger right here. Okay, I'm going to play one more time. I'm sorry. By the way, this little strum that we do, we do it from the 5th string down. Then we continue by doing, with the index, we're going to start on the 3rd string and we do index, middle, index. We still continue with our C position right here. And we do index, middle, index. All on the 3rd. And then we repeat again what we did in the beginning. We move this finger down to the 1st string, 1st fret and we play with the 5th string and the 1st string. Then we remove it, play with the middle, and then play the 1st string again with the index. So we're going to do 5-1 like this, then 1 again, removing this finger, and then 1 again uh, the same way, open. So 5-1 with number 1 finger on 1st fret of the 1st string, and then Open, open, so. And then we bring our finger number four again back to string two, fret three, and we're gonna play middle index. Then we remove it and go back to our C position, which is right here, with the uh, middle right there. Then we remove it, play it open, and then we bring it back with the middle. So, middle, index, middle. This new section goes like this. Remember, start on the third string with the index. 
Ring, middle, index. Then we bring our finger number four. Middle, index. Then middle, index. Middle, middle again by putting this finger number one here again. And after that, we will play an E7 chord. Finger number one, string three, fret one. Finger number two, string five, fret two. Finger number four, string two, fret three. Okay, this one is not playing. And we're going to play six one with the ring. And then we'll play the four inner strings, the inner four. Five, four, three, two using thumb, index, middle, ring. Remember, your thumb needs to go out this way, not in this way, because otherwise it's going to bump into your index finger. So these pull out this way, and the thumb goes out, like this. That way you get the sound of all the strings. Okay, so this second section is... After that, we leave the position right there of the E7, and we play our. We're gonna play our first string with the uh, ring finger, second string with the middle finger, and then we move our finger number one down to string two, fret one, and remove the number four. With the index, we play it. This finger right here, and then with the middle open on the second string. Okay, so after doing this, remember, one, two, and then two again with this finger, and then open, and then we go into an A minor chord, which you already know, finger one, string two, fret one, finger two, string four, fret two, finger three, string three, fret two. And we're going to play the inner four strings, five, four, three, two, the same way as we did before. Okay. So, this little section that we just did right now. Let me go ahead and play both sections, um, making a special emphasis on the left hand. That way you can get very familiar with uh, what we're doing on the left hand, okay? Hope you can see it clearly there. So, from the beginning. Okay, now I will go ahead and do the same thing for the right hand so that you guys can see it. Okay, this piece, when you play it um, more like at the regular speed, should sound like this. Remember, this is an arrangement for a beginner level. There you go. We'll continue uh, uploading some more parts to this song so you guys continue to learn. It's a beautiful melody, simple to play, and I guarantee you, if you have a significant other you play for them, you will definitely impress them. Thank you so much for watching. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions.